Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I want to test out the Flirk USB IR receiver on my Raspberry Pi 3 using Libra Elect. I'm going to pair this controller with it and I'm going to walk you through the steps. It's a super simple GUI application. You can download for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Plug the Flirk USB IR receiver into the computer. Open up the application that is provided on Flirk's website. Customize the controls from your remote, whatever remote you're using. Plug it back into your Raspberry Pi and you're good to go. So on Flirk's website, they say this works with any machine. Now I have tested it on Windows Media Center and it does work with my PC. I have not tested it on the Raspberry Pi 3. So let's get into it. I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your remote really quick. Before we get started programming our remote, let's head over to Flirk's website. It's at flirk.tv. They offer a few different products. We're going to focus on the Flirk USB. $22.95. What is Flirk? Flirk allows you to pair any remote control with your computer or media center. Just walk through our super simple cross-platform pairing application and you're done. Use your previously paired remote with no additional software on any machine with Flirk. So I have tested this on a Windows machine and it works flawlessly. I have not tested it on the Raspberry Pi 3. That's what we're going to get into now. Um, there are some built-in pairing profiles, which is really cool. You have a Kodi profile, Windows Media Center profile, Xbox 360, Fire TV, keyboard, and I believe there's a few more. You need to download their software. Now you can get it for Windows 32-bit or 64, Mac or Linux, so it's cross-platform. No matter what OS you're using, you will probably be able to program your USB adapter. So I've downloaded it here for Windows 64, and I've plugged the USB adapter into my computer. We're going to open it up. Now it starts off with a super simple minimalistic controller configuration here. We want to program this for Kodi, so I'll go to Controller, Kodi, and here we are. This little guy in the corner down here says that my USB adapter is connected to my PC. If it's not connected, I'll show you what happens. He gets a little upset. It's disconnected. So we're connected. I'm going to program this Samsung controller with Kodi. Very easy. Depending on what keys you want to program, you just click on number one and press number one on your controller while you're pointing it towards the IR receiver. Two, three. I'm just going to fly through this for you guys. Now that I'm done pairing the remote, as you can see, you can make sure your buttons are configured by just pressing them. I'm pressing them on the controller now and they show me exactly what is mapped to what. I'm going to be moving to the Raspberry Pi now. I'm running Libra Alette Raspberry Pi 3. I've booted up my Raspberry Pi 3. I'm running Kodi off an SD card. I have my Flirk USB IR adapter inserted into a USB slot. I also have a 64 gigabyte USB stick. It's working very, very well. Now, I've really never thought about using a remote for my Raspberry Pi 3 in Kodi because of the IR sensor issue. But with this little adapter, it enables you to use any IR remote that you have laying around. Or you can buy a nice Logitech Harmony remote and use it with Kodi. I usually use a keyboard with a trackpad built in. It's a wireless keyboard. And when I'm watching Kodi out in the living room, I'll set it on the arm of the couch or another cushion. I also have two children. And they'll come running in, blazing through the house, knock the keyboard off, stop the movie or just intentionally come up to the keyboard and start tapping on the keys. This will definitely go in my living room. I can hide the remote from my two-year-old. 
no problem and it works really good so let's go into some programs I have added just a few but I can only show you pretty much one thing here YouTube search and I've searched for Big Buck Bunny I'll try to find a 1080p version of it but I am using the controller now with no problem at all we'll see if this one is really Big Buck Bunny yep and on my Samsung remote I do have a pause button I have a play button and a fast forward button that I have mapped this works really really good I have volume down volume up and I'll just stop this movie we'll get out of here by pressing your back button whatever you mapped and I will go to files and play a the same movie from my USB stick so yeah this works great I, at first I was a little skeptical on this um, but I just had my doubts about ever utilizing this. And for sure, my Raspberry Pi 2 that is in my living room that is used for Cody, for me and the kids, I am going to use this Flirk IR receiver on that all the time. Oh, we only get 32 times fast forward on this. So that's it for now, guys. That's a quick overview of the Flirt USB IR receiver. It works really well. I did map this to a Samsung AA59-00600A controller. It has a bunch of buttons on it, so I was able to map pretty much everything I needed for Cody. This will definitely go out into my living room with my Raspberry Pi 2 Cody Entertainment Center. Uh, like I said before, the kids love messing with the keyboard. I can easily hide this from them. And it's just so much simpler to use the remote instead of a keyboard on your lap. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I have a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.